Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you how to make healthy Starbucks pumpkin cream cheese muffin. This is a healthy version that I'm going to show you how to make today. And let's go ahead and look at the ingredient. The ingredient list, I also list them in the description box below so you can check that out as well. Let's go ahead and get the cooking started. Before start, I will preheat the oven into 375 degrees Fahrenheit or 190 degrees Celsius. Here I have 1 quarter cup coconut flour, 1 cup almond flour. I will add them into the bowl. Here are 2 teaspoons baking powder, a pinch of salt. Add them into the flour and whisk them together. I have here I have half a cup of powdered sugar which is stevia. You can use any uh, sweetener of your choice. Whisk them together really well. Make sure break to break all the baking powder. If you have a sifter you can use that as well but if not you can just Use a whisk like I did in here, and I will add some pumpkin pie spice, about a teaspoon or so. If you like more, you can add more. Whisk them together. Now, in a different bowl, I will add the wet ingredient, about one cup of pumpkin puree. If you have the 100% pumpkin puree, that is better, but I don't have one, so I just use the pumpkin pie puree with no sugar added. One third cup oil. I use olive oil. You can use any oil. One teaspoon vanilla extract. Two large eggs. Now I will whisk them really well until they are well incorporated. It's time to add the wet ingredients to the dry ingredient. Make sure to get everything in there. Now gently fold or mix the wet and dry ingredient together until they are very well combined. As you can see, the the batter is not too wet or too dry, it's just perfectly moist. So this is great. And the batter is very smooth, so and we got it perfectly. I know in the original recipe doesn't have coconut, but I want to tweak my recipe a little bit by adding one quarter cup coconut flake. I like the feeling when you bite into the muffin and you feel the chewy coconut flake in your mouth. This step is optional. If you don't like it, you can certainly skip this step. Once you are done, put it aside. Now it's time to make the cream cheese filling. I have 8 ounce softened cream cheese. I like all my ingredients at room temperature. so. Before you bake the muffin, you have to take all your ingredients out in the room temperature. And as you can see here, the spatula is can easily spread it out. Now I will add a quarter cup of powdered sugar or any sweetener of your choice along with one egg yolk. This is how I separate egg yolk from the egg white. one teaspoon vanilla extract now i will use a spatula to mix everything together until they are well incorporated i think use a fork is much easier than a spatula so mix it until it's creamy like this then it's good to go I use a cooking spray to spray my muffin cup and then I use a ice cream scooper to scoop each scoop of the ball to put it into the muffin cup. That way it they all equal size and they all will be cooked evenly. 
if you don't have the ice cream scooper you can use a spoon and I will make a well here you can use a little spoon or a t half teaspoon to make a well like so so that it will be easier to put the cream cheese filling in there but if you don't want to do this step you can certainly use a piping bag to put all the cream cheese in there and then just fill out the hole that would be much easier and now I like to top with some pumpkin seed on the top if you don't like it you can certainly skip it I just want it to be more nutty but I only did half of that and I will save the other half for my kids as they don't like pumpkin seed and I also add some coconut flake on top as well I just love coconut flake they are great for everything now let's put it into the oven for 20 to 25 minutes depending on your oven temperature but you have to check back at 20 minute mark and after 20 minute mark has passed and my muffin is ready I by inserting the scooper or toothpick in there and it came out clean so it looks good look at how beautiful and delicious it is can't wait to try it hello everybody welcome back now it's the time to taste our muffin so there are two of them one i put more nut on the top and one is just the plain cream cheese and the muffin so let's cut it and take a look at it wow look at that how beautiful that is it is so delicious the sweetness is on point for this one i can feel the nut from like the nutty from the coconut flake and the pumpkin seed and let me try the other one so just perfect both of them are taste pretty much the same the difference is that uh, one is the nuttier than the other I have never tried Starbucks pumpkin with cream cheese muffin before and this is my first time trying making it and share with you guys so I hope you give it a try let me know how you like it by comment down below if you want to check more of my uh, almond flour recipe check on this video next and I will see you next time